better email address. I travel a lot, and uh, whenever I... There you go. And I'd love to get the information. Thank you, Aaron. Do you work with Linda? Excuse me? Do you work with Linda? Yes. Oh, cool. And so this, yeah, I didn't realize you guys were going to be here. I've been talking to her the past couple of weeks about trying to do um, oh, she's skid, mouse, skid mouse research yeah, uh, this summer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool that you guys are here. I yes, didn't realize. We're here. Yeah, wow. I'm the one you'll interact with mostly. Because okay. I'm yeah, the yeah, procurement manager. So. Perrin at garlic.com. Perrin. Yes, Perrin at garlic. Yes, that's me. <laughs> I think I saw that. I think I saw the thing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so I know I'm, I was supposed to write up like a little research synopsis to send to her, and I've uh -huh. just been swamped like with, you know, yeah. with like school and I mean, other truly, stuff. it is just. Yeah a half mm -hmm. a paragraph, a couple yeah. of sentences, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. just to get it back. And then yeah. you just get it back to her or to me yeah. and um, actually probably get it to me because she's going to go on a vacation from the 18th oh, okay. through the end of the month. Okay. So if you could just send it to me, then okay. I will get it to the okay. advisory board and okay. then we'll do that. So, yeah. And you guys are going to do the skid humice? Yeah, I want to do the skid mice. Yeah, the BLT model right, with, yeah. Um, yeah, with the, the long bones and the thymus and the liver. Perfect. Um, yeah, and it's just, I'm going to have to get you know, I'm trying to get the funding right now because I'm a, I'm a grad student, you know, oh, yeah. so it's like it's not yeah. it's yeah. not exactly a normal kind of thing, but I'm still looking for like a major professor and stuff to sponsor it and yeah. all that. So I hope that all works out because yeah. yeah. I would I think that, you know I would yeah. like to really well, get my hands you know, with it. What, what you can uh, do that will that might save you time on the on the other end uh -huh. is go ahead and submit the application. Yeah. Um, ex well, with the one caveat that we do have to have uh, the PI be the. Um, it might, it would probably be the professor, so it has to be an uh -huh. MD, PhD already, and okay. all that kind of stuff. Oh, so I won't be able to be the PI. Are you the, are you the PI on the project? I would, I mean, yeah, because it would be my, you know, graduate research for right. the summer. Right. Um, I don't know, but did you guys have a policy that it has to be? It has to be the guy, the person. A that, I mean, it can it can go to you. The tissue right. can go to you. We're gonna ship it all the man. I can But we do stuff. have yeah. to have somebody, an MD or PhD. He's like supervising. Me. <laughs> well, supervising just because that's yeah. what it says in our. You know, in our, you know, MOUs, you know, I mean, um, we just have to have an MVP. So oh, okay. The gotcha. Scientific Advisory Committee would yeah. write me back and go, Perrin, mm -hmm. for who's going to be the PI yeah. and who's going to be, you know, even though you would be the PI on the project, right, right. we have to have somebody's name yeah. on the project. Oh, okay. So, who is, the, is that like for, was that a government thing or like what's the. That's just because we have to have that for our. Our scientific advisory committee, our advisory uh -huh. committee says you have to have oh, gotcha. somebody who's an MBPhD oh, okay. on the uh, that heads the project. Now I will tell you that there are many people who get tissue from us all the time, mm -hmm. and they have just a MBPhD who's like like their the guy standard go-to person. The guy on the, yeah, yeah. there's the guy on the on the top line, but yeah. then everything, all the phone numbers, all the deliveries, all uh -huh. go to you. So okay. That's, so that's just uh, what what they insist that we have yeah yeah and then I was gonna so I was since you mentioned the time in between me actually submitting the application everything that has the information on it what's like the turnaround time between that and when Five we can to start doing days. it's nothing oh, like really? it is it's nothing like it is out in regular academia because uh -huh. you know we want to get you approved okay. and stuff and what we do is I submit it nine times out of ten I get back looks good they're approved there's that one time, like, you know, if I don't uh -huh. have the MD, PhD oh, at the okay. top, or yeah. if they say, um, you know, where's their funding coming from, or um, if you need serology testing on the donating mom, then, you know, they didn't uh -huh. that mark whether it needed to be faxed or, you know, just sent yeah. at the end of the month. I, there's just little things that every once in a while, yeah. it's just, I, I always say that, you know, when they meet, somebody's pissed off about something, and then they just throw it back because we need this. And so I send it back. Thank you so much, and we'll do this. And so then they go, Oh, okay, that's fine. That's funny. So they are they are they academics as well, or who? Uh, we have a, a doctor and a uh, an academic, and then a like a citizen person that's kind of just, oh interesting. Uh, yeah, it's like a bit. mini CERN kind of. It is. Yeah, yeah, because well, because. Because of what we do, and because we use fetal tissue, we don't uh -huh. want to. Um, we want to be as politically correct as we can. Right, we I know. We don't want a whole lot of people coming in and you know slapping yeah. us because yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're doing this and you're, you're, yeah. you're getting all these scientific people here, then and they're all agreeing. And, yeah. You know that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. it's kind of counterintuitive, isn't it? Right, like normally, like embryonic stem cell research, like the big controversial, like yeah, whatever, yeah. and like. And you know what the, the, <laughs> the really to weird thing is. Embryonic, there's still a lot of controversy about yeah. that, you know. 
but then fetal kind of got lost in the mix. You know, you have was it ever carnivorous? I mean, I'm I'm it was young, never, so I don't know. It was never um, it was never outlawed. Where uh -huh. during the uh, Bush administration, Bush uh -huh. one, Bush one, it was um, it was no federal funding could go to stem cell research or to embryonic cell research. Uh -huh. But fetal tissue was taken out of that. So we continued to send tissue to people like NIH. Uh -huh. Even though the government was paying for it, fetal tissue weren't put in that little box huh. of embryonic because it's different. Wow. So yeah, so it was Yeah, I wonder weird. what the Yeah. <laughs> and then the and then when, <laughs> when um, uh, Clinton came in he did an executive order, one of the first ones he did, that talked about, you know, we can do all this research. Oh, okay. And then Bush too took away funding again for some of the stuff and, and made it difficult. Uh -huh. And, you know, you have to jump through hoops and do all that stuff. But it's, it's, it did get easier again than once it's, Obama it's got really It's really easier again. now, except, you, except now we have, um, instead of trying to hit the research community, now uh -huh. they're trying to um, make abortion illegal and that's where we get our tissue right so i've now you heard have this yeah, whole big thing where you have you have people in different states who are absolutely making it so difficult you know they want transvaginal um uh right yeah i've heard a little bit just yeah because there's no medical reason for it right now you do them and the bans right aren't there some actual bans like yeah. the personhood and yeah. like whatever oh, like that, this like so crazy. fertilized egg Those or have whatever been stopped by some of the um watchdog groups uh -huh. by putting in um counter suits against those uh -huh. so for now those have been yeah. stopped but they want to keep putting on the ballot and all that kind of stuff so it's it's very difficult to figure out what they're trying to do you know yeah. now they just want to ban abortion you right had abortion women i heard the i heard the one in the one in north dakota right yes, six heartbeats yes, six yes. weeks or something yeah and you're going wait it's a minute like, you know and then wow. what, what will happen is you'll have more people like dr gosnell who was in philadelphia who was uh -huh. doing third trimester abortions and then uh -huh. you know clipping the spinal cord of the of the infant that's born at really you know, oh yeah it was a horrible that's true thing. yes yeah he wow. was doing that kind of stuff He's a bad man, and mm -hmm. I mean, I am absolutely 100% pro unforced pregnancy. Right. You know, so if right. nobody, if you don't want to be pregnant, then don't be right. pregnant. Yeah, and, of course. And if you are pregnant and you don't want yeah. to be, you have a legal alternative. Yeah. But um, yeah, he was he was uh, praying, and that's the only thing I can think of. He was praying on people in uh, lower income and uh -huh. minor minorities. Oh. People who didn't have money to their first trimester abortion yeah. couldn't save enough money until they were in the third trimester. Yeah. And so then so they're going to he found like a niche yeah, that he you know. could exploit. Yeah, kind of exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so huh. it's just difficult. I, mean, that's, that's a, I don't know if, you, if you've heard of the movie After Tiller. Yes. Or, I saw that, it. You, you saw the documentary. It was wonderful, right? Yes. Like, oh, it was yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Um, that, fact, we saw you know, it um, right after it was done because the three doctors that uh -huh. are, are in it are doctors that I know. So. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Oh so, wow. So do you procure from them as well? Or? Um, not from that clinic because they induce fetal demise at about 20 weeks, 18 to 20 weeks, and so they uh -huh. inject digoxin into the fetus. Right, right. I was actually going to ask about it because I want to make sure there's no digoxin. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. See, that's the problem with going there. But what they also do is they in, they induce labor most of the uh -huh. time, so the fetus is not, um, is, so it's intact. Because uh -huh. the whole point is that they want these women to be able to hold their babies. And mm -hmm. most of the ones that are right, in the right. third trimester are, they have anomalies that are incompatible with life. They mm -hmm. cannot live. And so, right. you know, so they decide. That right, which is not what I want for my skin now. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. I want so, it to be pretty yeah, normative normal and healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so it's um, yeah. It's after Teller mm -hmm. was a wonderful. wonderful yeah, yeah. No, but I was. It at a, at a yeah, I saw it in Berkeley actually. Yeah, and I, you, you probably know I'm Jackie Barbic. Yes. Was yeah. it, and and, I, and she mentioned to me that you guys, you know, yes. that I should talk to you if I yeah. if I wanted the fetal tissue. Yes. Um, is but I thought I thought you only procured from her clinic. It's not. No, no. we're from we procure from her clinic on Saturday because that's uh -huh. the day that they do large cases. Now they do induce fetal demise at about 21 weeks, okay. depending on the doctor. Sometimes. Because you know, because for BLT, I'm wanting like 18 to 22 weeks. Right. Yes. Right. And that and that would be fine. So if we had. 18 uh -huh. or 19 weeks and that we could get those tubes. Okay, and it doesn't have digoxin though. No, no, okay, it does good. not. Yeah. And we always, and, I mean, 
we've been in the business long enough. I can tell if it's been ditched or not. You know, I just look at it. I go, oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it has a smell. <laughs> it just, it's not right. So wow. it's just kind of icky. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but we also have clinics in San Diego, um, in Oregon, in Minnesota, and we soon will be starting in New Jersey and Philadelphia. Oh, wow. Not a Dr. Gossel's clinic, though. So. Right. And, yeah. and that, an ethical <laughs> clinic. I was, you know, you know, the reason I mentioned after is just because, like, you know, when stuff like that gets in the news, like, yes. then it redounds poorly on people like Shelley Sella and yes. Warren Hearn and, yeah. like, the guys who are yeah. doing yeah. it right. And, and so Robinson. it's just not, yeah. like, yeah, and it's just not fair. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, you know Susan? Is that yes. you? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I've worked with her. She used to do some cases at a clinic that was in San Jose for a while and met her and, and worked with her. Uh-huh. Um, Shelley, I know. She's, like, the breakout star the movie she's yeah. so cute like, yeah 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 and <laughs> reminds Shelley, me of my grandmother like I know, totally yeah, <laughs> yeah. and Shelly um I've known for years and years she used to work in Sacramento at a clinic and uh -huh. um for which one in Sacramento Shelly Sala is um oh the clinic oh yeah so which one is yeah the one in Sacramento which oh uh, they've closed oh they're closed yeah. okay yeah, that was um, yeah because there were a couple over there yes yeah, yeah. so I thought that maybe yeah, yeah but it, yeah because that, that was my other question is, is uh, if there is if there was anywhere else in Northern California, like closer to, you know, to exactly, Davis. That you, you don't want to do overnight. You'd right, right. If I'm, and I'm even thinking, like, if it's in Oakland, like, maybe I should just drive. Am I allowed to do that? It's, yeah, you know, yeah, you're allowed yeah, yeah. to do that. Yeah, because, and what we would have to do is we would get it on Saturday morning, and then we'd uh -huh. have to get it to you. But yeah. if we had people that were being needed to have tissue delivered in the San Francisco Bay Area on sat Saturday, then we'd have to wait till our courier could get to you. So it yeah. might be easier for you to just come in from Berkeley. And, right, right. Is there, in, in, in Davis, actually, I'm in Davis. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. what, yeah, but it's just, you know, just like an hour, hour and a half drive. Like, yeah. you know, might as well, like, why wait for FedEx exactly. to, like, do their thing, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. And, but, and uh, what would happen is if we get FedEx on mm -hmm. for a Saturday procurement for you, yeah. then it wouldn't get you to you till Monday. Oh, that's because terrible. Because they don't deliver on Sunday. It will be half dead by then. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. because especially the vi like I want the, the pretty high you know viability of the right. other because I'm even I do and I don't know I have to wait and see like what kind of funding they'll throw at me for exactly. for all of this but I would really I would like to lean more on the sides of you know of of even close to like whole organ transplant for the mice you know uh, yeah. because you can actually reconstitute the immune system that much better and that right. much more authentically right. Right. if you're not just doing like mashed up little you right. know cell bits you know and that, the so. problem with that is they don't come out intact. Oh, they there's don't. Not open, there's not closed abdomen. They're oh. always, it's always pulled apart. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's oh, okay. the, the whole point is not to have a live birth. Okay. And so the so the doctors have all, unless it's somebody who has had six pregnancies and six vaginal deliveries. And then it just kind of pops again, out. <laughs> they put lambs in and she comes in the next morning. And I uh -huh. literally have had um, women come in and they'll go in the OR and they're back out in three minutes. And I'm going, what's going on? Oh yeah, the fetus was already in the vaginal canal whenever the, we put her wow. in syrups, it just fell out. Wow. So, you know, because if they've had a lot of uh, right. uh, births, then that's kind of what happens. Right. But most of the time it is not intact. We have oh, some okay. uh, other people who would like to get um, like the biliary tree area, uh -huh. you know, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And I think over the past three months we've been able to send two. Really? Because they just are they are the abdomen is always ripped open. Wow. And I, you know, I don't understand. Are the are the organs inside intact? Like like the liver and the it, the and organs the are um, reasonably intact. Everything will get just get ripped up. You know, whenever uh -huh. whenever we have a smooth portion of liver, we think that's good because oh, okay. most of the time it's like the, the, you know, just the instruments they go in to pull, yeah. and it's just whatever presents first. And unfortunately, and I don't know why, it, a lot of times the abdomen presents first, and they just go in and start pulling. And oh, so they just they're pull not, it out yeah, by the they're abdomen. They're not yeah. trying to. They're not like, trying to. They don't trying, have my interests in mind. <laughs> or mine. <laughs> it really pisses me off. But really? yeah, they're yeah they um, they're just there to end the pregnancy. And yeah. So and we cannot ask them to change their. Um, process so yeah, like, that's and so I mean, even even just to switch like to induction versus DNA they like they that. can't even yeah. do that wow yep hi, hi. That's too bad. so yeah they cannot do they can't change the abortion procedure yeah. to benefit anybody yeah. so well. <laughs> Unfortunate. I know. I was gonna say. Yeah. You know. I mean, we're talking about benefit. A, like, yeah. It, well, it's against the law. HR, and there's there's oh, federal it is. law that oh, says okay. you cannot change the abortion oh. procedure to benefit um, okay. anything. So. Yeah. 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 So that's gotcha. Yeah. 
That's too bad. These are very cute, by the way. Yeah, well, Kleenex <laughs> tissues that I've had I people say, you know. They're very corny, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, what about matchless service? Matchless. And, and these, do, wait, do these not have any matches no, in them? Oh, it's, it's little. a little notebook, and it's matchless. Oh, my gosh. Who who invented these? <laughs> yeah. This was, this was Linda's idea. <laughs> this was all Linda. I gotta that's say that so this cute. was all Linda too. But she kind of goes that way. That's really funny. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Unfortunately, we just can't change any of the any of the rules. Yeah. So. Yeah, and that's a that's a definite rule. Like that's it's not just it doesn't matter where my funding is coming no, from or anything no, like that. No, it doesn't matter okay. at all because the doctors. Yeah. In fact, I have even said uh, to some of the doctors. You know, can't you just put an extra lamb in? And uh, one of the guys said to me, Karen, I can't change anything. If for wow. 18 weeks I put four lambs in, I put four lambs in. Wow. He said, maybe if she's 15 years old and I can get another one in because she's had no, the right. service has never opened. Right, and so it's important there's some in. justification but, in the procedure exactly. for it. But yeah. I'm not doing it for you. Yeah. I'm doing it for the patient's well-being. Wow. So I kind of go, well, okay. Huh. It sucks to be me, but, you yeah. know. But uh, yeah, they can't. They yeah. can't do that. Do you know? Are you kind of a clinic worker as well with it? Do you help with the with the process, or um, you just we, wait? No, we we are totally um, we're totally not involved in the clinical work at all. Uh -huh. The clinic does all of the consenting. The only thing we do is after the procedure, we will draw blood from the donating mother if you need serology testing, uh -huh. and we will. Um, uh, and that's all we do with the patient. I mean, we yeah. don't do anything else. Yeah. So. Okay, so you just wait for them to bring you the mm -hmm, tissue then. Yeah. And, yeah. We're usually standing right outside the door where they're doing the procedure in the OR, and we're in the lab area. And oh, okay. So that's kind of. That's oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so we're just kind of standing around waiting, and then we get the tissue. They, the doctor, makes sure that the uh, termination is complete, and yeah. then we. I mean, we have it immediately after. So, yeah, well, you know, like, I mean, like immediately if they just bring it oh, yeah, straight over to... Oh, yeah, they just bring it out. The doctor okay. kind of goes, yeah, yeah, and then they usually say, it's done, and so... Yeah. And here's yeah. Linda. Hello. You're Linda. Hi, oh, my Linda. goodness. This is David. David, David Sarkis. Sarkis. Sorry to finally oh, meet you. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I walked around and said, do you work with Linda? And like, right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't realize you guys were going to be here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just said, these are... You know, we should put are... out an email to everybody. We're going to be at ISCR. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I was just saying, these are these are very cute and very corny. <laughs> Right. I gave you the corny. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I told them that I'm you the were corny one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, the, the tissue. I mean, the tissue is very like. Yeah, I guess you would expect it. And then I said, I was like, no, don't tell me there aren't actually matches in here. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. So very good. I'm glad to meet yeah, you. Yeah. So I'm sorry yeah. that I haven't sent over the synopsis. There's just lots of stuff going oh, with the end of the school I year understand. and like all the stuff. That's so. Quite right. I already anyway. yelled at him and told him to just get it in. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I know. So we've been figuring out how the, you know, the whole logistics and everything you know, to yeah. make sure that, I mean I don't even have the raft yet so okay, <laughs> it's not yeah. like I'm you know, not ready to you know have to, I, you know, I don't want to submit something and then all of a sudden get something in the mail that I'm not prepared to. Yeah. 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 Well, we, 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 we I wait until so. you tell me you're yeah. ready. So right. Yeah, right. Yeah, Even yeah. if you submitted, you know, tomorrow, it would go to the scientific right. advisory board, and then and we I get always it approved just and, then, yeah, and then yeah. it can sit there. Yeah. yeah. So until you're ready. So yeah. That's not a problem at all. Yeah, and is it, and pretty much every Saturday, would you say, is there yeah. there's yeah. The appropriate yeah. age tissue to? Yeah. yeah. Well, it depends. I mean, it all depends, and that's what I always tell people. They say, well, you should be able to get something for me on Saturday and I'd say well it depends because it depends on how many patients present it depends on how this, many yeah I'm so sorry this is uh, who's that, that we're working you. with okay which is Novagenics they're based in Los Angeles and they do uh -huh. bioinformatics on tissues that are so mature. they can give me like a genome if I need yeah. it yeah. not that I need it yeah, but, yeah but they could yeah so wow exactly. yeah that's interesting. So, yeah, so ba but basically every Saturday you were saying that there's, there's going to be a there. Yeah, 18 to 22 or something that yeah. would work. Yeah, for. yeah. Good. But again, it depends, and it depends on the doctor whether they did. We have, there is one doctor that works there that doesn't dig until 22. Uh -huh. So you'd be able to get a little bit larger tissue. Uh -huh. But then some of the digits, are, well, some of the doctors, like I said. And even when they're digging, they're not doing, they're not doing induction. They're still just mm -hmm. pulling out. Yeah. It's odd. Yeah. I don't know, then again, I'm, I don't man know. after my own heart. He says, "Why don't they just do induction so we get better tissue?" And, and I, I was, I'm I'm I thought you. it was going to be intact. I didn't realize oh, that it because no, no, no. no. Uh, yeah, yeah. We so and, yeah. and so we then dig through the muscle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and cool. and, and it's um and it's you know it's coming transvaginally so it's it can mm -hmm. be contaminated with whatever's yeah. in there. 
So it, it, did you say so you, you have you ever gotten them intact though? There was one or two cases with the every yeah. once in a while every we get them while. intact, but it's yeah. never it, it it's never completely intact. Yeah. yeah, I mean, unless, like I told you the example of the woman gets in the stirrups and the fetus is down right. in the vaginal canal because right. she had, you know, 14 kids yeah. or something. So, yeah. yeah. How long would you say, um, how long from secession of circulation? That we send the tissue to yeah. you? Uh, immediately. I mean, yeah. I mean, like I said, we're in the in the lab, so they bring it out within five minutes after. Five minutes. Five minutes. We're, we have yeah. it in media and it's ready to go out yeah. the door. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I just, like I was telling her, I still have to submit, like, through the graduate studies portal and stuff, my university application to get, like, funding and a major professor and all of that. So, fingers crossed it'll all work out. It's, you know, longer than I, than I would like, but, you know, yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I, you know, you get yeah, I don't, I don't have, you know, a thousand bucks to spend on, on tissue just of my own. So yeah, it's, exactly. Right. It's yeah. too bad. But, and it's per specimen, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now, if, um, if let's say my major professor or someone someone else in the department was also doing a study are we is there any way to buy in bulk or like no, or no. if we wanted just a whole cadaver and then we did our own dissection or? we don't do whole cadavers just because uh -huh. we rarely get them. oh right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So actually i was going to say will i be you know competing very much with other orders in order to get other requests uh, maybe, but generally Saturdays we don't. It's only people in the San Francisco Bay Area who want to share. Oh, on Saturday. On Saturdays. Oh, okay, so and yeah, so, it's so it'll work out. Much less than it would be if yeah. she, if it was on a, a different day. But again, if you can take overnight tissue, that gives you a better chance to get tissue right. because there's more clinics and, that we work. Oh, with. okay, because then I could even get it coming from like Minnesota or like exactly. somewhere else. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Or yeah. Oregon yeah. or New Jersey. Yeah. Or Philadelphia. Yeah, no, yeah, I would rather have, you know. I know. I, I would, know. I'm ready to, I told her that I'm ready to, I'll drive out to Oakland, like, meet you, pick it up, and then, <laughs> and, you know, and I said that would create forget FedEx. Like, yeah, right, right. Yeah. And especially, yeah. I guess, because it would take, it wouldn't arrive until Monday, even if we did FedEx on, right. on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, so that no. Now, now you would, yeah. you would get Saturday delivery if we couriered right. it to you, and so oh, a courier okay. would take it. Yeah, yeah. Is that, again, so that's, that's one of your own people, that's yeah. not a, oh, Yeah, gotcha. but that would okay. still be. That could be known, yeah. yeah, and there's a fee associated, and then it's hours to get it to you. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think I think it'll be good. I will yeah. when I get home. I'll try to finish that synopsis and send it all in, and hopefully the hopefully the advisory board is okay with everything. Yeah. <laughs> right. But, um, yeah. Well, yeah. if they need any any um, letters of affirmation or confirmation or whatever from us, uh -huh. um, we can certainly send that to them just to let them For know that own. we oh, okay. are. Yeah legitimate and that we do everything oh, okay. in compliance with the Oh, you're talking about my people, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So if you need a letter of okay, good. Yeah. An endorsement or anything like yeah. that, that yeah. says we're... Yeah, I know, because, you know, one of... There was one professor from, from one class that I had early in the immunology department who I was telling him what I wanted to do, and he said, oh, and, and I guess he does more like public health stuff, so he wasn't sure about the whole, you know, exactly what a skid mouse was, yeah. and I told him, well, it's fetal tissue, and he freaked out at me. And I just, I couldn't believe, I know, yeah, no, no, he was, I think he, he was one of those like anti-choicers or something, yeah. I don't know, but I, it, yeah. I yeah. was, yeah. I was not expecting that. Right. Well, you <laughs> think that Especially, scientists. especially, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you think that, uh, you really know, would understand, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know. We run into anyway. them all the time. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess the protesters, like at well, the Well, those, but even some people in academia, they will say, you know, well, that really? might be what some people are doing, but I think there's a better way you can do it, and you don't have to do that. You don't have to well, sacrifice Well, let's, let's see their clinical trials. <laughs> yeah, <they're>, yeah. <laughs> let's see you it know? happen then, yeah. Are you, are you guys involved in any of the, um, I guess, what is it, uh, Stem Cells Inc. has their clinical trial in Switzerland right now with the... Um, Right. With the neural, we the fetal neural product? We have or? sent them tissue in the past um, and not sure if what they're doing right now is with uh, tissue okay. that we have supplied, but yes, we are very. Oh, very okay, because they have, because they, they talk about their neurospheres now, so maybe right. they've, they maybe already have cultured it up to, they may not have to resource it again, I don't know. Right, they may not, right. yeah. So that's one thing, you know, we um, we supply it and then they can, they develop a cell line and then they use it and it can, yeah. it's almost immortal, you know, so. Yeah, yeah so do you not have a lot of repeat? <laughs> um, oh, well, occasionally uh, we have a lot of repeat, um, yeah. a repeat researchers who ask for the same tissues over and over, right. but not necessarily the therapeutic. Oh, right, not yeah. for the same thing. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Cool. Well, I'm kind of starving, so I, can, uh, okay, I haven't yeah, had lunch yeah, yet. But it was very good to meet you. I'm glad I was. Too. I didn't realize you'd be so here. So that right. was great. Yeah, yeah, good to meet you guys. Talk okay, to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye. better email address. I travel a lot and uh, whenever I... There you go. And I'd love to get the information. Thank you, Aaron. Okay. Do you work with Linda? Excuse me? Do you work with Linda? Yes. Oh, cool. And so this, yeah, I didn't realize you guys were going to be here. I've been talking to her the past couple of weeks about trying to do um, oh, she's skid, mouse, skid mouse research yeah, uh, this summer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool that you guys are here. I yes, didn't realize. We're here. Yeah, wow. I'm the one you'll interact with mostly. Because okay. Because I'm yeah, the yeah, procurement manager. So. Perrin at garlic.com. Yes, Perrin at garlic. Yes, that's me. <laughs> I think I saw the, I think I saw the thing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so I know I'm, I was supposed to write up like a little research synopsis to send to her, and I've uh -huh. just been swamped like with, you know, yeah. with like schooling. I mean, truly, stuff. it is just. Yeah. A half mm -hmm. a paragraph, a couple yeah. of sentences, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. just to get it back, and then yeah. just get it back to her or to me, yeah. and um, actually probably get it to me because she's going to be gone on vacation from the 18th oh, okay. through the end of the month. Okay. So if you could just send it to me, then okay. I will get it to the okay. advisory board, and okay. then we'll do that. So, yeah. And you guys are going to do the skid mice? Yeah, I want to do the skid mice. Yeah, the BLT model right, with yeah. um, yeah, with the the long bones and the thymus and the liver. Perfect. Um, yeah, and it's just I'm I'm have to get. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to get the funding right now because I'm a, I'm a grad student, you know, oh, yeah. so it's like it's not yeah. it's not exactly a normal kind of thing, but I'm still looking for like a major professor and stuff to sponsor it and yeah. all that. So I hope that all works out because yeah, yeah. I would I think it, you know I would yeah. like to really well, get my hands you know, with it. What, what you can uh, do that will that might save you time on the on the other end uh -huh. is go ahead and submit the application. Yeah. Um, ex well, with the one caveat that we do have to have uh, the PI be the. Um, it might, it would probably be the professor, so it has to be an uh -huh. MD, PhD already, and okay. all that kind of stuff. Right, so I won't be able to be the PI. Are, are you the, are you the PI on the? Project? I would, I mean, yeah, because it would be my, you know, graduate research for right. the summer. Right. Um, I don't know, but did you guys have a policy that it has to be? It has to be the guy, the person. That, I mean, it can it can go to you. The tissue right. can go to you. We're gonna ship it all in. I can but we do stuff. have yeah. to have somebody an MD or PhD. He's like supervising will. me. Well, supervise it just because that's yeah. what it says in our. You know, in our, you know, MOUs, you know, I mean, um, we just have to have an MVP. Oh, okay. The Scientific gotcha. Advisory Committee would yeah. write me back and go, Parent, mm -hmm. for who's going to be the PI yeah. and who's going to be, you know, even though you would be the PI on the project, right, right. we have to have somebody's name yeah. on the project. Oh, okay. So who is, the, is that like for, was that a government thing or like what's the. That's just because we have to have that for our. Our scientific advisory committee, our advisory uh -huh. committee says you have to have oh, gotcha. somebody who's an MD, oh, okay. PhD on the, uh, that heads the project. Now, I will tell you that there are many people who get tissue from us all the time, mm -hmm. and they have just a MD, PhD who's like, like their the guy standard on, go to the guy person. On the, yeah. yeah. There's a the guy on the on the top line, but yeah. then everything, all the phone numbers, all the deliveries, all uh -huh. go to you. So, okay. that's, so that's just stuff. What, what they insist that we have. Yeah, yeah. And then I was going to, so I was, since you mentioned the time in between me actually submitting the application, everything that has the information on it, what's like the turnaround time between that and when Five we can to start seven doing working days. it? It's nothing oh, like really? it is. It's nothing like it is out in regular academia because, uh -huh. you know, we want to get you approved okay. and stuff. And what we do is I submit it. Nine times out of ten, I get back, looks good, they're approved. There's that one time, like, you know, if I don't uh -huh. have the MD, PhD oh, at the okay. top, or yeah. if they say, um, you know, where's their funding coming from, or um, if you need serology testing on the donating mom, then, you know, they didn't uh -huh. mark whether it needed to be faxed or, you know, just sent yeah. at the end of the month. I, there's just little things that every once in a while, yeah. it's just, I, I always say that, you know, when they meet, somebody's pissed off about something, and then they just <laughs> throw it back because we need this. And so I send it back. Thank you so much, and we'll do this. And so then they go, Oh, okay, that's fine. That's funny. So they get are they are they academics as well, or who? Uh, we have a, a doctor and a uh, an academic, and then a like a citizen. <laughs> 
I know, yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. So, very good. I'm glad to meet yeah, you. Yeah, so I'm sorry yeah. that I haven't sent over the synopsis. There's just lots of stuff going oh, with the end of the school I year understand. and like all this stuff. That's so. quite a right. I already anyway. nailed Adam and told him to just get it in. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. So, we've been figuring out how the, you know, the whole logistics and everything you know, sure. to make sure. That, I mean, I don't even have the wrap yet, so okay, <laughs> it's not yeah. like I'm you know, not ready to, you know. Have to, yeah. I, you know, I don't want to submit something and then all of a sudden get something in the mail that I'm not prepared to. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, we, 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 I wait until so, you tell me you're yeah. ready. So, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, Even yeah. if you submitted, you know, tomorrow, it would go to the science right. advisory board and then and I always just... And get it approved and, then, yeah, and yeah. then it can sit there. Yeah. yeah. So, until you're ready. So yeah. That's not a problem at all. Yeah. And, is it, and pretty much every Saturday, would you say, is there yeah. there's it, the appropriate yeah. age tissue to... Yeah. yeah. Well, it depends. I mean, it all depends. And that's what I always tell people. They say, well, you should be able to get something for me on Saturday. And I say, well, it depends because it depends on how many patients present. It depends on how this, many... Yeah. I'm so sorry. This is uh, uh, something that, that we're working you. with. Okay. Which is Novagenics. They're based in Los Angeles and they do bioinformatics uh -huh. on tissues that are. So mature. they can give me like a genome if I need yeah. it. Yeah. Not that I need it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah but they could. Yeah. So wow. Yeah. That's interesting. So, yeah, so ba but basically every Saturday you were saying that Saturday there's, there's going to be a there. 18 yeah. to 22 or something that yeah. would work. Yeah. For. Yeah. But again, it depends, and it depends on the doctor whether they did. We have there is one doctor that works there that doesn't dig until 22. Uh huh. So you would be able to get a little bit larger. Uh -huh. But then some of the digits, or well, some of the doctors, like I said. And even when they're digging, they're not doing they're not doing induction. They're still just mm -hmm. pulling out. Yeah. It's odd. Yeah. I don't know, then again, I'm man after my own heart. He says, "Why don't they just do induction so we get better tissue?" <laughs> I, I, I was I thought it was going to be intact. I didn't realize oh, that no, it because no, no. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. and, and so then we have to dig through the muscles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, well. and and it's um and it's you know it's coming transvaginally, so it's it can mm -hmm. be contaminated with whatever's yeah. in there. So. It, it, did you say you, you have you ever gotten them intact though? There was one or two cases with the every uh, once in a while we get them while. intact, but it's yeah. never it, it, it's never completely intact. Yeah. yeah, I mean, unless like I told you the example of the woman gets in the stirrups and the fetus is down right. in the canal because right. she had you know 14 kids yeah. or something. So yeah. yeah, how long would you say? Um, how long from succession of circulation that we send to the tissue to yeah. you? I mean, yeah. I mean, like I said, we're in the in the lab, so they bring it out within five minutes after the patient. Five minutes. We're we have yeah. it in media, and it's ready to go out yeah. the door. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well. Um, yeah. I just like I was telling you, I still have to submit like through the graduate studies portal and stuff my university application to get like funding and a major professor and all of that. So, fingers crossed, it'll all work out. It's you know longer than I than I would like, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I, you know, you could, I, yeah, I don't, I don't have, you know, a thousand bucks to spend on, on tissue just of my own. So yeah, exactly. Right. That's yeah. too bad. But, and it's per specimen, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now, if, um, if, let's say, my major professor or someone, someone else in the department was also doing a study, are we, is there any way to buy in bulk or like, no. or no. if we wanted just a whole cadaver? And then we did our own dissection. Uh, and we don't do whole cadavers just because uh -huh. we rarely get them. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So Actually, I was going to say, will I be you know, competing very much with other orders in order to get... Other requests? Uh, maybe, but generally Saturdays we don't. It's only people in the San Francisco Bay Area who want to shoot. Oh, on Saturday? on Saturdays. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so, it's so it'll work out. Much less than it would be if, yeah. if it was on a, a different day. But again, if you can take overnight tissue, that gives you a better chance to get tissue right. because there's more clinics and that we work Oh, with. okay. Because then I could even get it coming from like Minnesota or like exactly. somewhere else. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oregon or New Jersey yeah. or Pennsylvania. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I would rather have you know. I know. I, know. I would. I'm ready to. I told her that I'm ready to. I'll drive out to Oakland, like meet you, pick it up, and then. <laughs> and you and know, I said that would create forget a FedEx. Like, yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. And especially, yeah. I guess, because it would take. It wouldn't arrive until Monday, even if we did FedEx on. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. So that now, now, now bit, you would. Yeah. You <laughs> would get Saturday delivery of in person. That's kind of. Just, oh, interesting. Uh, yeah. Just it's like a bit. mini serm kind of. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, because because of what we do, and because we use fetal tissue, we don't want to. 
we want to be as politically correct as we can. Right, we I know. We don't want a whole lot of people coming in and, you know, slapping yeah. us because, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're doing this and you're, you're, yeah. know, you're getting all these scientific people here then, and they're all agreeing, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. it's kind of counterintuitive, isn't it, right? Like, normally, like, embryonic stem cell research is like the big controversial, like, yeah, whatever, yeah. and, like, And you know what the, <laughs> the really to weird thing is? Embryonic, there's still a lot of controversy about yeah. that, you know. But then fetal kind of got lost in the mix, you know. You have was it ever cell. kind of? I mean, I'm I'm it was young, never, so I don't know. It was never um, it was never outlawed. Where uh -huh. during the uh, Bush administration, Bush uh -huh. one, Bush one, it was um, it was no federal funding could go to stem cell research or to embryonic cell research. Uh -huh. The fetal tissue was taken out of that. So we continued to send tissue to people like NIH. Uh -huh. Even though the government was paying for it, fetal tissue weren't put in that little box huh. of embryonic because it's different. Wow. So, yeah, so it was Yeah, I wonder weird. what the Yeah. And <laughs> the then and then when, <laughs> when um, uh, Clinton came in, he did an executive order, one of the first ones he did, that talked about, you know, we can do all this research. Oh, okay. And then Bush too took away funding again for some of the stuff and, and made it difficult uh -huh. and, you know, you have to jump through hoops and do all that stuff. But it's, it's, so did it get easier again than once it's, Obama it's got really It's easier yeah. now, except, you, except now we have, um, instead of trying to hit the research community, now uh -huh. they're trying to um, make abortion illegal and that's where we get our tissue right so I've now you heard, have this yeah, whole big thing where you have you have people in different states who are absolutely making it so difficult you know they want transvaginal um uh, right, yeah, I've heard a little bit, just yeah. Just because there's no medical reason for it. Right. Now, you do them And the bans, right? Aren't there some actual bans, like yeah. the personhood and yeah. like whatever, oh, like that, this like so fertilized egg Those or have whatever? Been stopped by some of the um, watchdog groups uh -huh. by putting in um, countersuits against those. Uh -huh. So for now, those have been yeah. stopped, but they want to keep putting on the ballot and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's very difficult to figure out what they're trying to do. You know, yeah. now they just want to ban abortion. You can right. just get abortion. Women I heard the I heard the one in the one in North Dakota, right? Yes, six heartbeats, yes, six yes. weeks or something. Yeah. And you're going, wait it's a minute, like, you know? And then wow. what what will happen is you'll have more people like Dr. Gosnell who was in Philadelphia who was uh -huh. doing third trimester abortions and then, uh -huh. you know, clipping the spinal cord of the of the infant that's born at Really? You know, oh yeah. It was a whole That's true? Thing. Yes. Yeah. He wow. was doing that kind of stuff. He's a bad man. And I mean, I am absolutely 100% pro unforced pregnancy. Right. You know, so if right. nobody, if you don't want to be pregnant, then don't be right. pregnant. Yeah, and, of course. And if you are pregnant and you don't want yeah. to be, you have a legal alternative. Yeah. But um, yeah, he was he was uh, praying, and that's the only thing I can think of. He was praying on people in uh, lower income and uh -huh. mi minorities. Oh. People who didn't have money to do their first trimester abortion yeah. couldn't save enough money until they were in the third trimester. Yeah. And so then so they're going to So he found like a niche that you know. could exploit. Yeah, kind of thing. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so huh. it's just difficult. I, mean, that's, that's a, I don't know if, you, if you've heard of the movie After Tiller. Yes, or, I saw that, did you, you saw the documentary. It was wonderful, right? Yes. I thought it was yes. beautiful. Yeah. Um, that, fact, we saw you know, it um, right after it was done because the three doctors that uh -huh. are, are in it are doctors that I know. So. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Oh so, wow. So do you procure from them as well? Or? Um, not from that clinic because they induce fetal demise at about 20 weeks, 18 to 20 weeks, and so they uh -huh. inject dejoxin into the fetus. Right, right. I was actually going to ask about it because I want to make sure there's no dejoxin. No, on no, my no, seat. no, 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 no. <laughs> See, that's the problem with going there. But what they also do is they in, they induce labor most of the uh -huh. time intact. We have oh, some okay. uh, other people who would like to get um, like the biliary tree area, uh -huh. you know, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And I think over the past three months we've been able to send two. Really? Because they just are, they are the abdomen is always ripped open. Wow. And I, you know, I don't understand. Are the, are the organs inside intact? Like, like the liver and the... It, the and organs the are... Um, reasonably intact? Everything will get just get ripped up. You know, whenever, uh -huh. whenever we have a smooth portion of liver, we think that's good because oh, okay. most of the time it's got 
the, the, you know, just the instruments they go in to pull. Yeah. And it's just whatever presents first. And unfortunately, and I don't know why, it, a lot of times the abdomen presents first and they just go in and start pulling. And oh, they're, so they just they're pull not, it out by yeah, the they're abdomen. They're not trying yeah. to. They're not like, trying to. They're they not don't have my interests in mind. <laughs> or mine. <laughs> it really pisses me off. But really? yeah, they're, yeah they, um, they're just there to end the pregnancy. And yeah. so, and we cannot ask them to change their um, process. So yeah, like, that's and so, I mean, even even just to switch like to induction versus DNA, like do they that. can't even yeah. do that. Wow. Yep. Hi. Hi. That's too bad. So yeah, they cannot do. They can't change the abortion procedure yeah. to benefit anybody. Yeah. So. Wow. <laughs> Unfortunate. I know. I was gonna say. Yeah. You know. I mean, is we talking about benefit? It's a, it, like, yeah. It, well, it's against the law. And it's, there's oh, federal it is. law that oh, says okay. you cannot change the abortion oh. procedure to benefit okay. um, anything. So. Yeah. 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 So that's gotcha. Yeah. That's too bad. These are very cute, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, Kleenex <laughs> tissues, and I've heard I people say, you know, it's very corny too. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Well, what about matchless service? Yeah, just, and, and these, do, wait, do these not have any matches no, in them? Oh, it's, it's little, a little notebook and it's matchless. Oh my left. gosh, who who invented these? Yeah, Linda's <laughs> this, was, this was Linda's idea? <laughs> this was all Linda, I gotta that's say that. So this cute. was all Linda too, but she kind of goes that way. That's really funny. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, unfortunately we just can't change any of the, any of the rules. Yeah. So. Yeah, and that's a that's a definite rule. Like that's it's not just it doesn't matter where my funding is coming no, from or anything no, like that. No, it doesn't matter okay. at all because the doctors. Yeah. In fact, I have even said uh, to some of the doctors, you know, can't you just put an extra lamb in? And uh, one of the guys said to me, Karen, I can't change anything. If for wow. 18 weeks I put four lambs in, I put four lambs in. Wow. He said maybe if she's 15 years old and I can get another one in because she's had no the right. Has never opened, right, and so it's important so there's some in. justification but, in the procedure exactly. for it. But yeah. I'm not doing it for you. Yeah. I'm doing it for the patient's well-being. Wow. So I kind of go, well, okay. Huh. It to be me, but, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they can't, yeah. they can't do that. Do you know, are you kind of a clinic worker as well with it? Do you help with the with the process, or um, you just we, wait? No, we, we are totally, um, we're totally not involved in the clinical work at all. Uh -huh. The clinic does all of the consenting. The only thing we do is after the procedure, we will draw blood from the donating mother if he needs serology testing, uh -huh. and we will, um, uh, and that's all we do with the patient. I mean, we yeah. don't do anything else. Yeah. So. Okay, so you just wait for them to bring you the mm -hmm. tissue then. Yeah. And, yeah. We're usually standing right outside the door where they're doing the procedure in the OR, and we're in the lab area. And oh, so okay. That's kind of. That's okay, what gotcha. Doing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and so we're just kind of standing around waiting, and then we get the tissue. They, the doctor, makes sure that the uh, termination is complete, and yeah. then we. I mean, we have it immediately after. So. Yeah. Well, you know, like, like immediately after, they just bring it oh, straight yeah, over. Oh yeah. They just bring it out. The doctor okay. kind of goes, yeah, yeah, and then they usually say it's done, and so. Yeah. And here's yeah. Linda. Hello. You're Linda! Hi, oh my Linda. goodness! This is David. David, David Sarkis. Sarkis. Sorry to finally oh, meet you. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I walked around and said, do you work with Linda? And you're like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, I didn't realize you guys were going to be here. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I just said, You know, we should are... send out an email to everybody. We're going to be at ISCR. Yeah. 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 I know. I was just saying, these are these are very cute and very corny. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. I gave you the corny. Oh, okay. Yeah. I told them that. I'm you the corny were, one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, the, the tissue. I mean, the tissue is very like. Yeah, I guess you would expect it. And then I said, I was like, no, don't tell me there aren't actually matches in here. So the fetus is not. Um, it's, so it's intact because uh -huh. the whole point is that they want these women to be able to hold their babies. And mm -hmm. most of the ones that are right, in the right. third trimester are. They have anomalies that are incompatible with life. They mm -hmm. cannot live, and so right. you know, so they decide. That right, which is not what I want for my skid mouse. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I want so, it to be pretty normative yeah, and healthy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so it's um, yeah. So after mm -hmm. Keller was a wonderful. wonderful yeah, show. yeah, no, but I was. At a, at a yeah, I saw it in Berkeley actually. Yeah, and I, I you, you probably know I'm Jackie Barbic. Yes. Was yeah. it, and, I, and she mentioned to me that you guys, you know, yes. that I should talk to you if I yeah. if I wanted the fetal tissue. Yes. Um, is but I thought I thought you only procured from her clinic. It's not. No, we're no. from we procure from her clinic on Saturday because that's uh -huh. the day that they do large cases. Now they do induce fetal demise at about 21 weeks, okay. depending on the doctor. Sometimes because you because know, for BLT I'm wanting like 18 to 22 weeks. Right. Yes. Right. And that and that would be fine. So if we had. 18 uh -huh. or 19 weeks, and that we could get those tubes. Okay, and it doesn't have the Jackson, though. No, no, okay, it does good. not. Yeah. And we always, and I mean, 
we've been in the business long enough. I can tell if it's been ditched or not. You know, I just look at it. I go, oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it has a smell. <laughs> it just, it's not right. So wow. it's just kind of icky. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but we also have clinics in San Diego, um, in Oregon, in Minnesota, and we soon will be starting in New Jersey and Philadelphia. Oh, wow. Not a Dr. Gossel's clinic, though. So. Right. And, yeah. and, that, and ethical. <laughs> I was, you know, you know, the reason I mentioned after is just because, like, you know, when stuff like that gets in the news, like, yes. then it redounds poorly on people like Shelley Sella and yes. Warren Hearn and, yeah. like, the guys who are yeah. doing yeah. it right. And, and so Robinson. it's just not, yeah. like, yeah, and it's just not fair. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, there, you know Susan? Is that yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I've worked with her. She used to do some cases at a clinic that was in San Jose for a while and met her and, and worked with her. Uh -huh. um, Shelley, I know. She's, like, the breakout star the movie she's yeah. so cute like yeah 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 and <laughs> reminds Shelley, me of my grandmother like I totally know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and Shelly um I've known for years and years she used to work in Sacramento at a clinic and uh -huh. um for which one in Sacramento Shelly Sala is um oh the clinic oh yeah so which one is yeah the one in Sacramento which oh one uh, they've closed oh they're closed yeah. okay yeah, that was um, yeah because there were a couple over there yes yeah, so yeah. I thought that maybe yeah, yeah but it's yeah because that, that was my other question is, is uh, if there is if there was anywhere else in Northern California, like closer to, you know, to exactly, Davis. That you don't want to do overnight. Right, right. If I'm, and I'm even thinking, like, if it's in Oakland, like, maybe I should just drive. Am I allowed to do that? It's, yeah, you know, yeah, you're allowed yeah, yeah. to do that. Yeah, because, and what we would have to do is we would get it on Saturday morning, and then uh -huh. we'd have to get it to you. But yeah. if we had people that were being needed to have tissue delivered in the San Francisco Bay Area on sa Saturday, then we'd have to wait till our courier could get to you. So it yeah. might be easier for you to just come in from Berkeley. And, right, right. Is there, in, in, in Davis, actually. Yeah, I'm in Davis. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So that's what, yeah, but it's just, you know, just like an hour, hour and a half drive. Like, yeah. you know, might as well. Like, why wait for FedEx exactly. to, like, do their thing, you yeah. know? Yeah, and, and but, uh, what would happen is if we get FedEx on mm -hmm. for a Saturday procurement for you, yeah. then it wouldn't get you to you till Monday. Oh, that's because terrible. they don't deliver on Sunday. It'll be half dead by then. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. kind of because especially the vi like I want the, the pretty high you know viability of this right. because I'm even ideally and I don't know I have to wait and see like what kind of funding they'll throw at me for exactly. for all of this but I would really I would like to lean more on the sides of you know of of even close to like whole organ transplant for the mice you know uh, yeah. because you can actually reconstitute the immune system that much better and that right. much more authentically right. Right. if you're not just doing like mashed up little you know right. cell bits you know and that, the so. problem with that is they don't come out intact. Oh, they there's don't. not open. There's not closed abdomen. They're oh. always, it's always pulled apart. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's oh, okay. the the whole point is not to have a live birth. Okay. And so the so the doctors have all unless it's somebody who has had six pregnancies and six vaginal deliveries. And then it just kind of pops again, out. <laughs> they put lambs in, and she comes in the next morning. And I uh -huh. literally have had um, women come in and they'll go in the OR and they're back out in three minutes. And I'm going, what's going on? Oh yeah, the fetus was already in the vaginal canal whenever the, we put her wow. in the syrups, it just fell out. Wow. So, you know, because if they've had a lot of uh, right. uh, births, then that's kind of what happens. Right. But most of the time it is not. 